Unfortunately, about a third of fisheries are overfished and another third are maximally fished. So we really are at our limits. One in five people rely on the sea for their protein. And so from a perspective of global food security, we absolutely need to make sure that we ensure this food supply. We know that in fish populations, body sizes tend to be smaller. There's two reasons for that. Bigger fish are sometimes disproportionately targeted by fishing fleets, but also we know that in some species, they're actually evolving to be smaller. Their risk of dying goes up when they're fished, and so they're evolving to reproduce at an earlier age in a smaller size. We know with rising global prosperity, demand for animal protein is going to continue to increase. So if we're going to sustainably manage these fisheries and manage them into the future, we need to understand how things like body size affects production in fisheries. Our research at Monash aims to understand generally how size affects biological function, and particularly with regards to exploited populations where we're losing these larger individuals. To conduct our research, we use data mining techniques to cull from the literature all of the relationships between things like size, reproduction and growth for literally hundreds of species. This is leveraging the work of scientists all around the world for the past hundred years or so to establish the relationships between size and function. We then use these relationships between size and reproduction to model how these things affect the yields of fisheries and what we're doing to fisheries with these assumptions. Our research will hopefully allow us to identify ways in which we can increase the yield of fisheries because we haven't recognised the true role of larger females in fish populations. Because one larger fish produces many more babies than a few small fish, what we've been doing is systematically underestimating the role of larger fish in replenishing these populations. And so if we want to better replenish and manage fisheries, we can use things like marine protected areas that create reservoirs of larger fish that can spill over and enhance the production of fisheries more generally. Our goal for our future at Monash is to better understand how size affects biological function and life more generally. What we're seeking to understand specifically is how size affects function in fisheries. But this, this work can also be extended to things like disease vectors and disease transmission. Really, the sky's the limit on this.